What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the absolute insane sniper in War Robots, the Prisma setup here on the Behemoth. Let me just tell you one thing before, while I'm snacking entire titans at max range, um, this is a compilation of gameplay for you, ladies and gents, but it was recorded before the 7.9 update, so the Behemoth wasn't even able to run around with all weapons yet, right? It wasn't even able to do that yet. And it was still already carrying matches like a boss with those Prisma weapons. So let's jump in and do just that. Voots! Bye, dude! And this guy, max range, almost gone. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and you like the content, consider subscribing now. I'd really appreciate it, dudes. And dudettes, or goots, or whatever. Um, because, yeah, we're getting closer to 400,000 subs, man. And you all could help me achieve that um, rather nicely. And, uh, yeah, once we got this, there's gonna be a special event coming or a special video. Bye, dude! Have a good one! <laughs> 1,100 meters range on these weapons. I, I just, I, it's just, it's just completely nuts. Look how fast people drop at absolute max range. They're, like, so easy to take down. That's a, that's a hawk right there. Uh, he's in reflector, so there's no point in attacking him. I swapped locations over to here, as you see. We're going full face aggro mode against the enemies right there at max range. Um, and I'm gonna, they're gonna hate me. Because this is team deathmatch on a sniper map. Could it go any worse for them? No. This is the worst it could have ever gotten for the enemy against a Prisma setup. In team deathmatch where you can't even use beacons to win. You have to actually kill robots. And this on a sniper map fully open where I can just basically delete people at max range without them being able to get anywhere close to us. This guy, I think it was a shell, and I broke through his physical shields in a matter of split seconds there. So, let's redeploy. And, um, yeah, of course, remember, now with the 7.9 update, this has become even stronger, because you can now walk around with the behemoth, rather slowly, but you can walk around and take down enemies um, with all four weapons while being on the move. And so it has become an even greater setup now, uh, but it was even insane then, you know? That shell. Okay, here we go. This guy is coming in. Uh, he's got a shield now, and he's got another shield once he starts to fly. Did I get his last stand? No! Oh, man, I, that instant heal, that really ruined it for me. Thought I was gonna get him before. But you can tell he, they're coming for me now. They're coming 100% for me. I do have the legendary pilot, so I'm taking less damage from attacking enemies. I can start healing and getting even more resistance. Boom, got him. And the shell is coming in now, too. Thankfully, it's not a revenant, it's only a shell, so he can't actually teleport onto me. So we're breaking through his physical shields here fast. But remember, now we're closer. We're in close range. And we're also suppressed, it seems. Yeah. So we're doing less damage now because of the fact that we are having uh, laser sniper weapons that deal max damage at max range, but shorter or much less damage at short range. Right? And that guy is also a revenant right here. He's coming in with a ref. And I need to kill that ref before it is too late. I'm getting an airstrike on me. But I'm able to counter heal the damage because that's the good good thing about airstrikes is you can counter that heal Wow one hit kill pretty much. Holy smokes You can counter heal all damage done by airstrikes. They are 100% back healable So this raf he's trying to get in man, but it's it's so difficult for him to do this as you see here. Look at this look look Oh He gets an instant 100% back heal. It's so ridiculous that that heal that he just got He's gonna jump on the on the dude in front of us, I think. Look at this Sharenga Titan over there. Look at this! That's a Titan man! And he loses his entire Titan in such a short time. Unbelievable. So the ref is now going to probably jump on... No, he's not jumping on anybody yet. He wants to, but nobody is uh, letting him get to us close enough. Look at this. How many... Wait, how many shields did he just have? He has a yellow shield now. Yellow shield is gone. Gets another yellow shield filled, filled up. Then gets a purple shield. That was three shields in, in, within one second. But uh, I guess it's important that they have this now because otherwise he would have died in two seconds. It's so crazy. Here, look, look, look. Oh! Unreal. So I think now the Revenant, the enemy Revenant, might be able to spawn and jump. Wow. Yeah, the ref is there. And he can finally attack me. Look, 
This is how long he has waited for this. He was down in the canyon uh, up there for that entire time. And all he wanted to do is finally jump on something to get in range to attack me. And now he's finally managed to do this. He finally got uh, somebody to jump onto so he can start to attack me. Also, this guy over there, uh, this Typhon robot, he wants to get me to you with his, uh, with his um, wasp weapons. I'm standing down here now where I think his weapons can't reach me. He only has 600... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, he only has 600 meters range and his weapons were stopping like right in front of me. Oh my lord, is that impossible for people. Is that insane? If they didn't have those purple shields, they would essentially die in one second. They would. That's a titan right there. This guy, okay, as he falls. Alright, he's coming in now. It's the same guy again. He wants that titan. Uh, no, he wants that guy that we are. That, um, what's it called here? Um, that behemoth. He gets the second flight off. I'm starting my he heal, but in this case, eventually I'm going down. But you know what? Bad news for him. Look what the next robot was that I had. A behemoth with four times prisma, yes. Um, because I wanted to record this setup, so I built two of them. And even if somebody gets me destroyed, I just uh, spawn another one. I did more than 8 million damage with these things. That is... My lord, this is just absolute brutality. 1,100 meters range with this much firepower. Let me show you that you can also use it in shorter range maps. Valet, for example. You see there's an enemy Erebus right there, and let me correct that. There was an enemy Erebus right there. He's already gone. He also had Prisma, but, well, the Behemoth take is much more tanky than an Erebus is. Especially with a legendary pilot, and when you have the healing module with the on-repair resistance microchips. On repair defense, they're called. Two of them. 160 defense. Boom! He goes down before he could even do anything. Absolute nuts. Here we have a hawk flying in. Uh, but he's not even bothering to get close. Because the hawk beam, as you know, has been nerfed. It doesn't really do the full damage anymore to enemy t uh, re regular robots. It only does d good damage against, uh, against titans, pretty much. So, there's a guy coming out, and whoop, and he said, that was a full robot. That's what it looks like when enemies don't have uh, the, the thing. When enemies don't have the... Uh, and look how fast he's even going down at short range. Which is interesting, because this, this setup here is supposed to be useless, pretty much, right? At short, uh, at short range. But it still deals decent damage at short range when you have four of the heavy weapons on a behemoth. Wow, down to last stand with him immediately. I'm starting to lose weapons now. Wait for it, and fire. Voots, and he's gone. There's an enemy Revenant. He's jumped onto a spot where I think he can't really do much against anybody right now. Alright, now he's jumped. Okay, now he's doing something. Oh boy, the enemy has the curving bullets, the new uh, machine guns. Um, interesting, the machine guns were already there, but the behemoth was not yet able to run around. Are we going to be able to kill him here? We only have two weapons left at this point, so it's getting rather stupid now. I think I should probably... Yep, he's gone. I should probably swap into another robot now and uh, and do something with that then. But let's see what we can do even with just with two Prismas now. 44,000 health and only two Prismas left. And Airstrike is coming in on top. They really want that behemoth, man. They really want it. And you know what happens now? Boop! A fresh 100% legendary piloted instant behemoth killer comes out of and does the next that does the thing again. So all that effort, the airstrikes and everything they've done to get us destroyed, all for nothing because I just I just respawn a new one, man. It's so crazy. This is such nuts thing. Um, also, I wanted to show you that uh, the uh, the behemoth can even even Prisma can even be good on maps like this. That are really not known to be sniper maps, but you can snipe. There is one long range encounter, and that is here on the left side. And see that Minos right there? He's just activated his reflector. I dropped this guy's yellow shield. Reflector is going down now, and we can start to deal damage. Look at this. This is only 600 meters range. We would do it with even more da damage at 1050 meters range or something. We would do a lot more damage then, I think. 
airstrikes coming in on top of me. But as, as, you, as I told you, ladies and gents, an airstrike is not a problem as long as I can heal it back up. And I can. I can heal it all the way back to 100%. Enemies are coming in with, M with Minos. No, with Ao Ming's now. Ao Ming is sniping me. And I'm actually undeploying and walking myself back in safety. Because that Ao Ming is definitely on me here. He wants me pretty, pretty badly. I'm getting out to the left side again. Deploying. Activating maximum resistance and firepower. Here we go. Max firepower and everything. Look how he's going down. He's going down faster than the behemoth is. Even though he is a titan. And I'm just a regular robot. And uh, I'm not even sniping at my max range. I keep getting stuck at this position there. That's so annoying. Yeah, I, I just, I even eyeball it now and I'm even testing if this actually blocks you and it does. Be careful with this spot. You see this, this Ao Ming is 100% face focused on this setup now. This is what you have, what, what will happen a lot to you when you run this setup. You'll have a lot of face focus on you because these people start to absolutely hate your guts. They hate the fact that you even just exist. The fact that you exist is more than enough for, for them to absolutely hate you. Uh, it's this Prisma. It's this Prisma that drives them absolutely insane. And I'm doing even more damage now. Oh man. This guy, he's going down and that's it. He hasn't even gotten this behemoth with his Prisma. So, deploying all weapons now. Full firepower loaded. I already lost a weapon, of course. It's just money gaming again. Uh, whoop! 650 meters range. Enough range for freaking insane damage. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen, of the Prisma? Because I know that it doesn't... There's a lot of you guys who are not very happy with the fact that it deals so much damage at long range. And I too think that for taking no risks, right? Firing at that range, you need to take no risk whatsoever. For taking no risk, I don't think this weapon should be able to do this well. By the way, here he comes again. The guy comes back. It's the guy with his Ao Ming. That's him. He's coming now. He wants that behemoth. It needs to die. It can no longer live. It is not possible that this behemoth gets on living. He must die. And there we go. He finally did it. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Prisma behemoth. Uh, remember, now it can walk around with firing, so it's even better. Uh, and, uh, yeah, tell me what you think about the balancing of the Prisma. Because uh, I'm drawn. I like the fact that there's also useful sniper weapons because... Uh, only Team Deathmatch you see him really, and Beacon Rush they're worthless most of the time. You really don't need snipers and Beacon Rush most, uh, like 99% you only really need the Brawling Revenants, things that jump on beacons and stuff. And uh, Beacon Rush uh, and Domination kind of similar, although snipers have a little more reason to exist, but even then you, you kind of want to brawl, you want to get the beacons to win, you know. Team Deathmatch is great with snipers, but um... This is, I think, where you see the most Prismas too, right? So what do you think about them? Tell me what you think. Have a good one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.